another episode of Ark, Ark Survival Evolved Dino Guides. Today's video is on the amphibious Spinosaurus. We will talk about the real life counterparts, the in game creature, its behavior, its statistics, and its functionality. The Spinosaurus is among the largest carnivores on the island. Some were even bigger than the Rex and the Gigas. The name Spinosaurus translates to Spine Lizard. The Spinosaurus belongs to the order of the Theropod and lived from the Lower Albion to the Lower Cenomian stages of the Cretaceous period, which was 112 to 97 million years ago, where it roamed the north of Africa. Most remains have been found in Egypt and Morocco, where it fed on both land creatures, but also hunted fish in the waters of the region. The Spinosaurus was one of the largest land predators of its time, competing with the Rex and the Gigosaurus. The biggest of its kind could even exceed its competitors in size, with the smallest being around 12 meters in length and the biggest one found so far are being 18 meters in length, with a humongous weight from 7 to 21 tons in kilos, that is, yes, thank you Americans. One of the special features of the Spinosaurus is a large extension of its spine on its back, which actually grows from its vertebrae. This extension is also called animal sail. Also mentionable is that the Spino shows an astonishing amount of similarities with the current day crocodile. The in-game version's full name is the Spinosaurus Aquareligia, meaning spined lizard, and the second part is something French or Polish, according to Google, but I didn't get a translation, so I don't know. If I had to guess, it means ruler of the rivers and swamps and ocean, but that's not true. The Spino can be found all over the island in the center, where it feeds on both land and water creatures, since it, it's actually quite fast. In the water. It's about the same size as a rex. For the length, it's actually a bit longer, since it's down on all fours. You could say that the spino is even bigger than the rex. In mass, then, probably. Also, the animal's sail on its back makes it seem a lot larger. This sail actually grows from its vertebrae. So you could almost say the sail is comparable to our bone marrow. The Spinosaurus is very aggressive and will attack not only players, but pretty much anything in its reach, except for maybe a Rex or a Giga, which makes the Spinosaurus a high in the aggression index. It's fast moving and very strong. We'll show you the statistics of a level one wild. So keep in mind that these will increase with level ups, but it will give you an impression of the pros and cons of this creature. Let's take a look at its statistics. Its health is 700, which is quite high. Its stamina is 350, which is decent for a land creature, but might need improving. The melee is 50, this is very high, so it's quite a DPS dealer and combined with its huge splash damage area in front of him when attacking, this can be very dangerous. However, its weak spot is behind the spino, since the splash damage doesn't reach it like some other creatures can. They can hit behind them while fighting in front of them. It doesn't make sense. But it's true! So, if you want to fight a spino, stand behind it. This is also due to its poor turning radius. Its weight is 350. This is decent, but mostly useful for hunting and not so much for gathering resources. The weight isn't too low, but it's not too high. Its base movement speed is 452. Its sprinting speed is 1175. Both wild and domesticated have the same sprinting speeds. And the swimming speed is surprisingly high, with it being almost as high as the sprinting speed at 1100. The oxygen is also very high at 650. So, now let's get into its functionalities. The functionality of the Spinosaurus lies in it being a huge predator with incredible speed and sustain. 
So for the first roll to recommend, I'd recommend the tank. It doesn't have the HP of a Bronto or something of that sort, but combine it with its incredibly high base damage, it's not a bad idea to get a ton of health on a spider. For the tank, you want to level mostly health, a bit of damage and stamina to utilize his health pool to the max. For the second row, the damage dealer, which is very similar to the tank, but instead of focusing on health, you focus on damage. And then level a bit of health and stamina and speed on the side. So you can utilize the damage to the full extent. And the third roll for the Spino is the transport. Simply because all small predators and even some of the larger ones will ignore you when riding on a Spino. Which makes it a safe transport through jungle areas, hills, mountains and swamps. For the transport, mainly focus on speed, stamina and weight. And for the fourth roll, surprisingly, the dive. The high swimming speed on the Spino makes it to be a very good starting dino to engage the fearsome depths of the Ark Ocean. With it being such a damage dealer and a tank, if well leveled, it can compete with some of the scary creatures on the water. Keep in mind that they are always in the advantage when at a similar level, since the Spino will always stay a land creature. For the diver roll, level up speed, stamina, health, melee and maybe some oxygen. Pretty much whatever you feel like, which makes you feel safe. But make sure you don't let it drown while you have your scuba gear on. We hope you now have a, an idea of how the actual Spinosaurus look like, how it compares to the one in game, and what it's good for. Thank you for watching. The sources that we have used are mentioned in the description. If you enjoyed the guide, please consider leaving a rating. Subscribe for more related content. And if you have any questions, comments or constructive feedback, leave those in the comments section down below. And yes, 